Do single American women live in Mexico? Do single American women like living in Mexico? Hi, I'm Bill the Geek, broadcasting not live from Mazatlan, Mexico. This is the Bill Dallas Lewis channel, and we make videos about the joys of living in Mexico. I'm going to introduce you to my good friend, Kathy. We interviewed her about two years ago, and her life has changed for the better. It was really good two years ago. Now it's just fabulous. She's always a joy to be with. Let's talk to Kathy. You really want to watch the entire video because at the very end, Kathy's going to give you some advice if you have hesitations about moving to and enjoying Mexico. Good morning, Kathy. Yes, uh, good morning to you, Buenos Dias. Uh, Buenos Dias, <laughs> how are you doing? Oh, wonderful. I oh. love it here. Oh, okay, yes. okay. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we got together with you about two years ago, I think, and we did an interview. Uh, about a year and a half. A year and a half? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, uh, was that before you were living where you live now? Yes. It okay. was. Okay. I wasn't living here yet. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have a, we wanted to get together with you. We, want, we wanted to catch up and mm -hmm. see how much life can change for a person in a year and a half. I thought it was two years. Uh, uh, and my first question is, I don't know if I want to ask this or not, but I'm going to. What are the biggest changes you think that have happened to you? in that period of time since the last time i think we we did this interview at reina del mar yes we did reina del mar we did the interview mm -hmm. uh -huh. and it was uh probably just about a year ago we did that interview really okay maybe it was may i think when okay. we did it and i wasn't here yet uh, but i was buying the place i already bid for it and then moved in july 13th of last year okay yeah so I, the only biggest changes i can think of is my expenses are so much less and I'm so close to the market, it's only like a couple minute walk and I get all my fresh produce and meat and canned goods and spices all at the market and supplements if you want them. Su supplements? Yeah, like vitamins. Oh, okay. Yeah, they have a couple of vitamin stores in the market. Yeah, Nutritionist, I guess that's how they call them. And uh, really good places, I've been buying supplements. Where where are we right now? We're in Mazatlan, but how this would you? This is Centro. Centro. This is Centro. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned the market. Yes. What can you get at the market? Oh, all kinds of vegetables, fruit. Uh, you can get anything at the market. Mm -hmm. uh, you can get beef cut up right in front of you, uh, pork, uh, chicken, fish, tons of tuna. Oh, it's just amazing what you can buy at the market. Okay. And then give you ba package deals on me, or you just can buy by the kilo, or, uh -huh, you know, uh -huh, uh -huh. it's amazing. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, okay. Yeah. and uh, I was standing on the corner, and I think I saw the market, like, it's only like a half block away, right? Yeah, half block. <laughs> I mean, I said a couple minutes, I'm there. <laughs> Walk down my stairs, and I'm right there. <laughs> oh, and how far are we from the ocean? It's about one kilometer to the ocean. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, to the Malikon? Yeah, to the Malikon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It takes me about 15 minutes in a walk. Okay. And that's not a brisk walk. This is a nice casual walk. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I love it. <laughs> now, um, did you have an apartment before you had this place? Yes, in Lomas del Mar. Okay. Yes. Really nice uh, family, and they lived right on the premises, and we had a shared um patio area that was wide open in between us so the back doors could open up mm -hmm. and really nice nice place for only seven thousand pesos a month with everything included okay and that's about 350 dollars a yes. month okay yes and how did you find this place um believe it or not i was on the phone with kim kimberly from um remax and we were talking and everything i was looking at was sold already but there was one site i started looking into it is i just hung up with her that had this place listed and one other um proper i don't know if i should say it or not properstar.com okay yeah um that had this place listed and i called her back i want to see this place and she set it all up 
and oh. the other one too. There was another one just about two roads down. Okay. Yeah. So you bought this place. I bought it. What? It's a one bedroom. Yes. Okay. It's a one bedroom. If you want to take videos, you can. Okay. You okay. Know, of okay. a place mm -hmm. afterwards. Okay. Yeah. I did a few things like getting it repainted. Um, still changing out some things like drapes. I'll change out this year, but I put a roof over the balcony area. Okay. So my washing machine's covered. I call that my utility room. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. And and can I ask how much you paid for this place? It was um, eight hundred and eighty thousand pesos. Eight hundred eighty thousand pesos with everything, all the furniture and the TVs included. And what would that be in U.S. dollars about? That was about without well the closing it came to about fifty thousand U.S. Okay. Just uh, a tad under, like forty nine thousand eight hundred. Okay. With the closing and all. Okay. Which uh, ain't that's a great deal. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And uh, to remind, so people people may not rem remember, but we're all we're in Mazatlan now. But where where were you originally in Mexico? And oh yeah, I, I started in Ayahuasca. Please leave a comment. Tell us what you think. And if you like the video, click that like button. Okay. And I remember you did a video with Robert uh -huh. at the Dillaria. Uh -huh. Yeah, 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 right. <laughs> you know? And I went and visited him uh, about uh, three weeks into just being there and getting a little settled. Uh -huh. um, couldn't walk around a lot because I had tore my meniscus up and I was on a cane. Uh -huh. So walking around was painful at the time, but I'm healed now. And I don't have a cane no more. But went over there, got a tour for Thanksgiving, and then a month later I was here in Mazatlan, and that's where I wanted to be. Uh huh. I did like Ayahuasca too. Uh huh. They all have their good that they like, but I like more action here. Okay. There's more music, there's more dancing. People are up a little bit later, a lot later. <laughs> uh, okay. Than Ayahuasca. Uh huh. Since everybody goes to bed around eight. Oh uh, yeah 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 yeah. Well, okay okay. <laughs> Here I'm up to about midnight usually. Uh huh. Yeah, once in a while, a little bit later. Okay. How many Mexican ladies want to dance with me? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we have a ball. Okay. <laughs> oh, so, uh, uh, so, so uh, now in Ahihik is a big town for Canadians and Americans. Uh, 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 so if you want to, and senior citizens yes. also, yes. Uh, but it sounds to me like you're meeting a lot of all kinds of people, including Mexicans yes. and people that may be younger than you even. Yes. Like my neighbor, Addie, she, she does speak some English and she's trying to help me with my Spanish and she's trying, mm -hmm. I'm trying to help her with her English. And she looks like next door to me. Okay. Yeah, and she'll catch up with me at night as I'm walking and, hey, how you doing? And we'll uh -huh. start walking together. Uh huh. You know, so I made a lot of friends here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So what do you do? Are you, are you retired? I'm what? retired. Um, I have my Social Security and my pension. So I may collect that, and I have plenty to live on. I mean, my expensive here are only my electric, my water, because I own the place, and that runs about a thousand pesos a month. That's fifty dollars. Yes. Uh huh. <laughs> For electric and water, and even my drinking water that's delivered to me, and my internet. Okay. It's all included. Okay. Okay. So and that price. So you're living in Mexico, and all your expenses are pretty, pretty much. <laughs> Fifty, sixty dollars a month. Yes. <laughs> so, so what do you do day to day? Oh, I meet people that I met here. Uh, met a whole group of people at La Fonda right in January, about a month after I moved here. Mm -hmm. And I meet with them once or twice a week. And then I meet with some other ladies uh, that I just met a couple months ago, about twice a month. Because mm -hmm. every other Monday I can't go because I go to Stone Island. They only meet on Monday. And I'm meeting a new group on Friday. Oh, and what's the new group? Uh, they're going to be at Cielo oh. in the plaza. Mm -hmm. uh, it's more like a happy hour type thing at 4 o'clock. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is that ladies only? Uh, I don't know yet on that one. Oh, okay. Okay, I think it's mainly ladies, though. Oh, okay. So I only met one lady, and it was at my nail salon. Uh, her name's Peggy. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Know? Okay. It's okay. Just come on over. Oh. <laughs> and overall, how is your Spanish? Uh, very poquito. <laughs> very little. <laughs> I still only know phrases. 
I, I, you know, I can ask, you know, Vaso do Agua, you know, and all that, you know, and I, my bill, and hello, um, how are you? You know, and all this in Spanish, but I don't know how to do the conversation back yet. Okay. I have to really start concentrating on it with my friend Addie next door. Okay. Yeah. Um, and what are your, uh, how, how's your, when you deal with money, can you, can you do n numbers and money? Yes. Oh, like yeah. 100 pesos, 100 yeah. pesos? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. I, I know the money pretty well. Okay. Yeah. When they get up into the bigger bills, no. Okay. Yeah. But I, I know more or less what they're saying. Okay. Okay. So, are you enjoying yourself here oh in Mexico? Oh my God, yes I am. I go to Stone Island at least a couple times a month. What is Stone Island? A Stone Island is like a peninsula that you have to get there by bow off the shore in Playa Sur. Okay. So you just get a ride there, you get a little boat that holds about maybe 20 people, mm -hmm. and you get over to the other side and there's mm -hmm. all kinds of restaurants. and. And if you do walk in, there's other things, too, that you can see that I haven't seen yet that I want to go and see, which is one is the... Uh, they have a botanical, botanical garden, garden there, yes. Uh -huh. That's what I want to see. And they have horseback riding on Ooh, the beach. Ooh, they do? Yes. Oh, yes. Uh-huh. Yep, okay, yeah. They have that. And they have what they call the, um, I guess, I can't remember what they call it now, the hot dog ride. <laughs> it's uh -huh. a... Uh, you know, uh -huh. it's, it's a big, huge balloon thing that about 10 people can get on, and uh -huh. the boat drags it around the ocean. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh, -huh. Yeah. uh -huh. It's really nice. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, and for you, uh, do you have a car? No, I did, but I sold it. I didn't need it here. Uh, there's buses for 13 pesos that go all over. There is another one I'm looking into, which is hop on, hop off. That I didn't think that went to historical area, but when the boats are in, it does. Okay. So there's one fee, and you can hop on and hop off all day long. Oh. And I have to look into that one. But the buses are really nice. They come through constantly up until almost 10 o'clock at night. Okay. The buses, so you uh -huh. get around. They have white buses that are more for inland. Okay. But they go sometimes up to Melicon, some of them too. But the green bus is the one that does all the way to Cerritos. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, um, and do you use, uh, like, Uber? Or? Oh, I use DD. I haven't used Uber yet, but I know people that have, and I think it's about the same price, even though someone okay. said DD's was cheaper. Uh -huh. I'm looking at the price. It looks the same to me is what I'm almost paying. Okay. And they're great, too. They come right to your door, usually within a few minutes, unless the Malacan's really busy in the historical area. Then it might take him. I had one that took me half an hour to get to me, but he made sure he got to me. Okay. <laughs> I gave him a good tip. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. So you're a single woman, retired in Mexico, living in El Centro. Yes. Uh, in the middle of the city with all this action. There are, oh, there, there's things to do all the time. Yes. Do you feel safe? We go live every Saturday at 10 a.m. Central Time. So click the subscribe button and you'll get a notification so you can join all of us and talk about the joys of living in Mexico. Oh, I've walked at midnight back home. Even one I think it was even one time, one o'clock in the morning. Don't feel unsafe at all. Okay. And if anything, the police here are out and I'll say bonus noches to them and sometimes uh -huh. they wave back. You know, and uh, sometimes a little bit of vendors might be open too that serve food late. Uh huh. But not many. Okay. Real late. Uh huh. And I'll say hi to them too. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, so, and I noticed I was down on the corner mm -hmm. hanging out because I got here a little early and, and there were all, the, I mean, I couldn't count how many food places there were. Oh, there's tons. You know, tacos, hot dogs, all kinds of stuff right out on the street, and it's very cheap. Yes, and I have a couple places I go to. They're inside seating for 90 pesos to 100. Just ate at one the other day, and it was their beef stew, and it was wonderful. Uh -huh. and they, had the, they could choose gonzo beans soup. They had that along with it for... That was 100 pesos. Okay. And the drink included. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, That's $5. $5, five dollars. drink included. <laughs> drink included. Oh. Then there's other ones we get to start as in a drink for like 50 pesos. Uh, it's $2.50. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I'm like, wow. Uh -huh. Amazing. So when I'm here, 
I don't spend over 800 pesos on food a week, and I eat out every day. 800 pesos is $40 a week eating out every day. Yeah, every day oh, very here. Good. But if uh, I start going to the historical area where the restaurants are a little higher, like 200 to 300 pesos. Uh, $15, a, $20 a okay. day. A day, yeah. If I do them. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, so it sounds like you're having a blast down mm -hmm. here, meeting new people. Oh, yeah. Uh, my my last question, or second to last question, would be, what about those people that maybe are watching the Bill Dallas Lewis channel, thinking about moving to Mexico? They're hesitant. They're not sure if it's safe. Will it be fun? What are they going to do? Uh, what advice do you have for these people? There's tons to do in Mazlan. You can choose if you want to buy a place or rent a place you don't want to be where all the action is you can be like me where it's really quiet i just have clothing stores on my street and it's a one-way street or you can move closer to you know the malacan where all the action is mm -hmm. but then you might hear some of the noise in your home mm -hmm. but here i don't hear any of it okay yeah so i, I tell them to come it's safe it's wonderful uh you're gonna have a good time here you can go to the ocean you can go watch the dolphins. They have dolphin watching and swimming with the dolphins. They have whale watching. Um, we have a brand new aquarium that's going to be opening up in another month. It's going to be gorgeous. It's simply beautiful. They were all already open, the old part, but now the new is going to come in. Uh -huh. What else is going on? It's just always something. You know, yeah, yeah, you, me, and our friend Annie, we've been to the professional baseball game, and last weekend we went to big time wrestling. The wrestling was amazing, but I couldn't hear afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> and this weekend we're going to the rodeo. Yes, the rodeo. Oh. It's going to be fun. And there should be dancing horses there, too. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's going to be amazing. Okay. There should be over a thousand horses like there was last time. Okay. Okay. It'll be amazing. Two days in a row, Saturday oh. and Sunday. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. So, uh, is there anything that you would like to add that I didn't bring up? Hmm. I'm trying to think what you didn't add. I'm thinking you just really asked me all the questions. You know, it's easy to get jobs here too if you want to work. I have a friend that works here, does pet sitting. Okay. Yep. And she's doing some graphics too now. Okay. Yeah, so it's easy to get work if you want to work here and not retired also. Okay. That's all I want to add, add to that. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, Kathy Lamar, always great to see you. I'll see you uh, this Sunday, but thank you very much for joining us again. Yes. And thank you for interviewing me again. Oh, you're very welcome. <laughs> Bye-bye. Adios. Adios. <laughs> Kathy, thank you so much for sharing your time with us today. We'll get back with you in another year or two. Hard telling what's going to, what you're going to be doing then. And all of you, thank you so much for sharing this time with us. We have many more videos to come, so click that subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next video.